Did you come to help? Yeah. What are you gonna help do? In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to clean aquarium filtration and why it is so important to clean your aquarium filtration this way. So let's go ahead and dive in. What is going on and welcome. If this is our first time meeting, I am Ken Water from Otter Creek Aquatics. And here on this channel, we talk about things like fish breeding, planted tanks, and even some tips and tricks that can help you grow your aquarium keeping skills. So if you're interested in learning any more about any of those topics, or just like the aquarium hobby in general, then go ahead and consider subscribing and ringing that little notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload my weekly videos. Now let's go ahead and dive into cleaning your aquarium filter. So one of the easiest ways to identify if your aquarium filter needs clean is checking out the flow rate. As you can see here on this AquaClear 50, I've got water just barely drizzling out. If we go over here to the AquaClear 70, that is the amount of pressure that the AquaClears are supposed to put out. And if you can see the lid on the filter, it's actually pushed up and the filter media is actually sticking out of the water. So all of those bio rings that have been outside of that water have the potential of actually losing that beneficial bacteria that is so important for a healthy aquarium. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your filter shut off. That way it's not going to be dry running when you go to clean it. One of the next things that you need is a siphon tube. And this happens to be the Python Mini, which is just absolutely amazing for this type of project. So this is a one inch by six inch tube. So it's actually really small. And then it's got six feet worth of, it looks about like three eighths around tubing. So you're not gonna get much flow, but it works really well on fry tanks. And the reason for this is that if you have a lot more flow than that, if you have one of those fries swim by the bottom of this, they will actually get sucked up against the netting. And if you don't have a net on it, they can actually get sucked through the tube and down into your bucket. And the way that I made this netting around this so that I can't suck up any fry is I just took one of my nets that I used to scoop out fish, cut a piece off of it, and then just tied a rubber band around it. So every time I put this down in the tank, I know that I can't suck any of my guppy fry up. So the next thing you're going to do is just start your siphon into the bucket. So now that we've got our siphon going, you can see that this has a pretty decent amount of flow, but it's not going to instantly fill your bucket up. So while our bucket continues to fill, I want to talk the importance of why I'm using tank water versus just taking out my filter, going over to the sink, and just rinsing everything off really good. So inside of your aquarium, you have what is known as beneficial bacteria. And this bacteria is actually what makes up the nitrogen cycle. And the nitrogen cycle is how your aquarium is able to actually live and actually thrive. So this beneficial bacteria, it breaks down what is known as ammonia, which when your fish produce waste or you feed your tank, you're gonna have an ammonia buildup inside of your aquarium. And then that beneficial bacteria takes that ammonia, converts it into the second stage, which is nitrite, and then converts it from nitrite to nitrate. So this beneficial bacteria is extremely important inside of your aquarium and what people forget is this beneficial bacteria actually lives inside of your filter so when you just take your filter and you either replace the filter media or you take it over to the sink and you clean it all up that chlorine that's in your water or the big temperature difference is actually going to kill off that beneficial bacteria so when you go to plug your filter back in your tank may not have enough beneficial bacteria to convert that ammonia that your fish are producing into the nitrites and the nitrates. You do have beneficial bacteria that lives on everything in your tank, 
but a big portion of that beneficial bacteria is going to be housed in your filters. Your filters do a really good job of picking up that extra debris inside of your aquarium, but the other big benefit is the beneficial bacteria. So make sure that when you clean your filter, you're cleaning it in the tank water that that filter is actually in. That way you're not gonna kill off that beneficial bacteria. So now that we've got our bucket filled up enough, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this filter media out and get it down inside the bucket. And if you just watch, I like to use a fish bag. That way I'm not putting any of this nasty water back into the tank. So now that we've got the filter media out of the filter and into the bag, you can just see how dirty and grimy this filter media is and that was causing the filter to actually get backed up and that was what was lifting the lid up is because the filter media the water wasn't getting through and it was pushing it up and then it was barely trickling out of that filter because it didn't have enough momentum to get through this mucky sponge so now that I have my filter media and my tank water in the bucket we're gonna go ahead and pull this out piece by piece and we're gonna start to rinse it off. You can see just how grimy that is. You can compare it to the other sponge that was in the filter. This makes a huge difference and it's gonna allow that water to travel through that filter easier. So the last thing we have to clean with the filter media is the intake sponge and whether you have one of these or not it's always good to clean this the same exact way that way you're preserving that beneficial bacteria. So when it comes to the rest of the components that make up your filter whether it's the box that houses the filter media the tubing that sucks the water in and allows the water to flow through the filter and then release it back into the tank. I usually just take this stuff straight to the sink and get it cleaned up. And the reason for this is that you'll have a lot of gunk that gets built up in your tubing and down inside of your filter that you just can't really get to when you're cleaning it inside of a bucket. You kind of need some water pressure that's going to be able to knock that stuff out. I've been doing this the whole time and it's never caused an issue. I don't think that the little amount of bacteria that is contained on this stuff is going to make or break my tank. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this filter put back together. So one other thing that I wanted to point out, if you can see the water level, this is like a 15 to 20 percent water change. So if you're planning on doing a water change anyways, then check your filters and make sure that you're not gonna have to clean them before you do your water change because you may be able to knock out two birds with one stone. So let's go ahead and put this in the water and then we can knock out our water change. Are you coming to help? What are you chewing? And during the water change, my little helper came to help. Did you come to help? Yeah. What are you going to help do? Maybe that. <laughs> so now that we've cleaned our filter, we've did our water change, you can see that this filter has the right amount of flow that I was looking for. All of the biomedia is now submerged. It's got water flowing over it. And when we put our filter lid back on it fits nice and snug and it's not lifted up off of the back of the filter so as you can see cleaning your aquarium filter can be highly detrimental to your fish so make sure you're taking the precautions and make sure you're cleaning it the right way if you're interested in any of the products that I've shown today then go ahead and check out the description I've got all of them linked up for you especially that Python mini 
it's only like five bucks and it really makes doing water changes and cleaning filters so much easier. With that being said, if you got some value out of this video and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell. That way you get notified for future videos. Go ahead and share it out with all of your fish keeping friends so that they don't make a filter cleaning mistake. Thank you all for watching. Keep following your dreams, keep inspiring, and until next time everybody, see ya.